Okay, let's talk about ACT math and really let's focus in on how you can uh, get the best score possible. Okay, so what I'm going to be talking about here is from uh, the perspective of a math teacher. I'm a math teacher, as I just told you, from, I taught from sixth grade through college. I've also done a lot of tutoring through the years. So I want to kind of um, uh, share with you some uh, lessons learned and my perspectives. You're going to get different um, takes on SAT, ACT, math preparation, whatnot. But I'm going to give you some basic uh, kind of concepts that you really should consider as your first step that you need to take to get ready for the um, ACT math section. Okay. So with that being said, um, I do want to let you know that I do actually have an ACT math prep course. I'll leave the link in the description. I don't know if you've uh, subscribed to my channel, but I, I already have hundreds of videos that can you can benefit from. Algebra videos, geometry videos, advanced videos, etc. And that's the kind of math that we're going to be talking about um, in this, uh, this particular video. So let's get right to it. Okay, so the ACT, as if you're, if you're watching this, or already, you know, I'm assuming that you already know what the ACT is. It's a test that you have to take that uh, a lot of schools are actually, I think, well, it's part of your college uh, application process, right? So you're either going to be taking the ACT, the SAT, and I've actually heard that there are some schools out there that are not even looking at these scores, but that's these the ACT is going to be around for a long time. Same thing with the, AC, uh, the SAT. So oftentimes um, a college will give you the choice whether you want to take the SAT or the ACT. Some schools lean one way um, or the other. This, the, the ACT and the SAT are similar, but there are also, there are also some significant differences. So what you want to do you know, right off the bat, and this is not the first thing I want to talk about, but you need to determine what schools you're looking at and whether um, you know they they prefer ACT scores or SAT scores, and then try to kind of come up with a respective study plan um, and then kind of go from there. But let's kind of uh, focus back in on math. So what kind of math is going to be on the ACT? Well, it's basically going to be Algebra 1, okay, High school level geometry. So this is high school level algebra one. Okay, which algebra one is generally at the high school level. Algebra two, and that's pretty much it. You might have it. All depends on how um, uh, your school taught it or whatever the how the, the curriculum is break into. But you might even see some pre-calculus and some trigonometry type of stuff on 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 uh, the ACT as well. But this will definitely be the kind of minority of the amount of questions basically the the sniff the most the bulk of the exam is going to be on your algebra skills and geometry skills okay and probably more is probably more on the geometry side okay so it's you know this is a big deal all right there's a lot of material that you really need to know and you really do need to to you know uh, study for for this exam it's not enough to just to take you know, these courses in high school and be like, okay, I took this course, therefore I should expect to know how to do these problems on, um, you know, the ACT, okay? It doesn't work that way. You're going to need to review a lot of material. So the first step, okay, um, and, and again, this is from my personal experience when I, I tutor folks, is the following. You need to, you need to know, okay, uh, your math skills, all right, you need to know your math skills. Let me write it this way. Maybe I could probably express that a little bit better, but what, what I'm talking about is this. What math skills am I talking about? You need to have the, the uh, fundamental math skills before you can even start taking or you should start, before you even should start doing practice tests, okay? Or start doing like test taking strategies and all that kind of stuff. It doesn't make sense to even start taking practice tests if you don't even know how to do quadratic equations or find the area of a circle or these type of things or know anything about matrices or logarithms and that kind of stuff. So your first step is to strengthen your foundation. This is a critical step. That's not just the first step. It's may very well may be the most important step because if you have a shaky foundation, you can take, you know, a ton of practice, uh, uh, tests and you can be in, um, you know, pay a lot of money to go to like, you know, test taking, um, uh, prep courses and whatnot. And they'll serve you well because they'll give you some general, like, you know, strategies and tips on how to, 
you know, face a, a particular math question and, you know, how to kind of reason through it. And those are, that's all good stuff. But it's not going to have nearly the uh, effect, okay, the positive effect if your math skills are weak, all right? So this is a lot of material. This is three years of high school level mathematics right here, all right? And if you count the pre-calculus or trig, it could be up to, say, four years. So you want to strengthen your math skills. Even if you've done well, you want to go back and review, okay? So what I suggest is looking at the whole mosaic, everything that was taught in these courses, okay, in Algebra 1, think about everything you learned just in Algebra 1. Uh, systems of equations, um, uh, word, uh, all types of word problems, quadratic equations, rational expressions, working with powers and exponents and radicals and everything else. In geometry, think about everything there. Congruency, similarity, circles, arcs, sectors, uh, basic trigonometry, Pythagorean theorem, etc. Algebra 2, we can talk about determinants. You could talk about complex numbers. You could talk about um, advanced polynomial equations. That's a lot. And if you think about when you're taking these courses and there was a test, just a chapter test, okay, just one chapter out of these courses, what did you do? You study for a couple of days, right? Teacher said there's going to be a test on this. So you study. You're, you're already doing the problems. You're already doing the homework. You're engaged with your teachers. But you still studied specifically for that only that one little chapter test, okay? Even though that you were doing proms, et cetera. And that's kind of the mentality you need for all of this, all right? You should study first, right? And this is why, by the way, too, don't know um, if you're taking, if you have a lot of time, like a year, you're going to be taking the ACT later this year or next year, or you do have that kind of luxury of a lot of time, that's excellent because it gives you more time to prepare. Okay. If you're up against it, you're like a second semester senior, you know, watching this right now and you're like, oh boy, you know, I don't have much time. Well, you know, you're going to have to make the most of it. So you're going to have to really intensify your efforts. But if you do have a lot of time, it's a good thing, but it can also kind of be a bad thing because you might be like, oh, I got plenty of time to help, you know, I'll put this off, you know, procrastinate. Don't procrastinate. You want to keep your math skills sharp. Even if you're, like, say, currently taking geometry, uh, you know, you're not doing algebra anymore. You should do some algebra. Even though there's some algebra and geometry, you should still keep your skills sharp. All right. So work on keeping your math skills, building them up, you know, keep them really strong. So that's the very first thing that you really need to do. Now, the second steps, okay, um, are going to be, you're really going to have to understand the, uh, the ACT and the test itself and the questions, the format. There's all kinds of uh, uh, strategies, tactics, and things. And all this is really important as well, okay? I'm not minimizing that part of it. Um, so there's classes you can take. There's books. And you should probably do all of the above. You, you definitely need to have one of those big... ACT uh, study guides where there's practice tests and all that kind of good stuff. And in those big books, they actually have like review notes that are pretty good with the math and, and whatnot. But oftentimes what I've seen, they're not they're not completely comprehensive. They're not designed to be massively comprehensive. In, in a book, let's say within say 15, 20 pages, there's no way all that little like that review can can cover three years of mathematics. Okay. So you're going to have to do that work to really get your foundation uh, super strong, okay? So you need an organized um, course of study that's going to, to do that. Maybe you have your notes. If you do have your notes from these courses, Algebra 1, Geometry, that's good. Your old test or, or things like that, that's good too. But find a program where you can cover all these uh, topics again and do practice problems. And if you struggle on any particular topic, like say systems of equations, inequalities, um, whatever the case you forget, and you're like, oh, I don't remember how to do these type of problems. Even, you know, when you're doing these practice tests, you need something to kind of refer back to. This is the thing that I did. I put together a specific course. It's massive. It's actually 22 chapters, um, and it's high school level, Algebra 1, Algebra 2, and Geometry, all crammed into one big reference course to keep your skills sharp. So, really proud of that. Um, I, I know it would uh, definitely benefit you. Again, I'll leave the link in the description in there. But if you don't, you know, if you're not uh, 
connecting with my teaching style and you wanted to look for another option, then by all means, look for something else out there that has that has that kind of comprehensiveness, okay? Where you can reference everything from fractions to to whatever, okay? Because there's a lot of subtopic here, subtopic topics here that you know you're going to be expected to already know before you even start talking about trying to figure out different ways to reason through a test question to get the uh, the answer right, okay? So hopefully you have enough time to study. I would say if you had like you know, at least three months, you can, you can, you can go, well, I'll leave you on a positive note here. Let's kind of wrap this up. Even if you have a little bit of time, you can still do a significant amount of improvement in a little bit of time. It all comes down to your motivation and your effort. So don't give up. Okay. And don't say, well, I only have a couple of weeks or I only have a week or two, then it, there's no hope. That's not true either. Okay. You can still do a lot in a little bit of time, but if you have a good amount of time, then you can really, really work towards getting, you know, just exceptional um, scores. And I will say this much, okay, and from my experience on these exams, there is also that component to the individual being a natural test taker. Okay, some people are just better at taking tests than, than others, or some people, you know, just um, are more comfortable taking tests than others. You shouldn't feel that that in any way whether you're a good test taker or maybe not such, you know, maybe that's, you know, not your thing that has anything to do with your intelligence. Okay. So don't let this test drive you crazy, but it's extremely important though, because the better score you're going to get, the better your chances of getting into a particular uh, university. All right. And so the more time you can practice, the more practice tests you can take, more actual tests you can take, that's the way you're going to increase your, your odds of success. All right. So Hopefully you liked this video. You know, you got something out of it. If you did, I would definitely appreciate a thumbs up. Again, I'm posting all the time, you know, my uh, tons of videos on various math topics. But generally, I stick at the high school level math, a lot of test prep uh, courses and stuff that I do out there. So algebra, geometry, advanced stuff, whatnot. You'll find that on my channel. So if you like my teaching style, you can find a lot on there. Um, uh, again, if you want a formal course, I'll leave the link in the description for that. But... Hey, let me know what you think. Uh, maybe you've been studying and, you know, uh, for the ACT in a particular way that's been working for you. I'm always interested in feedback. I, I get a lot of comments. I try to read as many as possible. But it's the way I know, you know, how I can improve. And maybe um, if you have a question, maybe I can, uh, um, you know, answer it. Or you, maybe you'll give me an idea for a future video. But with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best on the ACT. Thanks for your time and have a great day.